Alright, what's up everyone? We're going to do a, another standard tournament with this green-white aggro deck that Kibler played to a 9-1 finish at Pro Tour Origins. Um, I was discussing with some people last night that we think it has a good mono-red matchup and, and Soul Artifact matchup while also being okay against the rest of the field. So um, I think those are the two decks you want to try and metagame against right now. So we're just trying. I'm just trying it out, trying to feel it out, see how he went 9-1. and one. Um, I, I'm not as proficient as him, either at Magic or at playing these green aggro decks, but um, we're looking to learn some stuff, and I hope you learn some stuff too. So we have an aiming right here. We have a 7-card hand, that's pretty good. We're going to play Corsair. We're going to play Elvish Mystic into Corsair, or Boon Seder, depending on um, what we draw. But Elvish Mystic um, on turn 1 is good on the player draw. I mean, obviously it's better on the play, but I'm not complaining about this hand. So it looks like we're playing against a blue-black control deck, usually or a soul tie, something um, probably controlling. There's very few decks that just play Temple of the Sea and do not try and just kill all your stuff. So um, I'm tempted to play the Boon Seder first then because I want to gain value off my Corsair. I want to be able to play, be obviously almost like effectively drawing a card when I play Corsair. I want to be able to take a land off the top of my deck um, so that So that, um, like, with if they do kill it, it's like I drew a card off it anyway. So it's not like I lost, um, we didn't, we didn't one for one, he two for one himself effectively. And I got through my deck more. And in this matchup, I think it's important to, like, try and, um, think in terms of trying to get, um, ahead of them on cards or try to get as much value from all your spells as possible. So I'm going to just play this for us, and I'm going to pass. The intent of playing Boon Slayer at the end of his turn. What I don't want to happen is I play Corsair and then he just kills it. And hopefully he counters this here. Because I don't want to walk into a language, but. So here I could play the Corsair. But he might have languish, and that's would be really bad for me. So I think I'm just gonna attack with um with these two guys. I'll just attack with the boons here. I think I think the one damage is not worth it right now. And then I'm gonna play Temple Plenty because I want to draw something awesome next turn. I don't want to draw a land or anything like that. This card's not good enough, I don't think. And I'll I'll play another Elvish Mystic. That's fine. I'm gonna attack with all my dudes here. My duders. I think I found Hero's Downfall. Um, I don't mind actually saving this here with Valorous Stance. Could be wrong, but I just really want to push damage through. It doesn't look like he has a, um, a, uh, what's it called? A languish, because I think he would just languish, like, last turn, unless he had all tap lands. But, um, if, and if I want him to try and languish, I don't want him to try to, um, yeah, see, I like this. I like him trying to anticipate trying to find lands. Like, I don't think he has a language, so I want to try and, like, put as much, like, out tempo him, basically. I want to keep my board presence up. And now he has to do something else to deal with this board. So here we're going to attack. It's probably going to downfall? What is this? Two blue. Cloud Tongue Invocation. So he's going to gain four life. We're going to sack that. And I think, well, I don't want to get. I don't want to play Ojitai next turn, but I don't want to get blown up by a Crux of Fate. So if you have Crux is here, I think it's fine.
You play Zoja's Titan next turn, hit him for four. He went Anticipate last turn into Tap Land. Played Dismal Backwater. Correct? And he plays Anticipate into Island, so he's probably looking for lands. So he could have a Crux of Fate. You know, we know he has Ojitai. So if we know he has Ojitai. write that down, the cards I do know about. I think he might have a Crux of Fate. So how do we best play around Crux of Fate? I think by not playing any of our cards, and then he, if he plays Ojitai, it, it's tough if he plays Crux of Fate, actually. It's really tough. I think we're just going to pass. We missed our land drop there. Um, that was an oversight, but it's because I was just thinking a little too hard. But we should let me play our land drop, but maybe he thinks we're like, has like, we have a collected company. And he doesn't want Crux of Fate this turn because then we can collect a company. Alright, here comes Ojitai. So I'm gonna attack first. See what he does. Uh, I'm gonna play Death Disruptor. Play land and then pass. So now he has to find something off this Ojitai. I mean, Cards of Fate is the best one, but we can, um... Cards of Fate is definitely the best hit. Hopefully he doesn't have it. Is it dig through time? No. Looks like some weird X spell or Delve spell. Maybe it's Crux of Fate. Here's Downfall. Okay. That's fine. Let's see, so we have Jamoka's command. So I'm going to attack with both of my guys. I think I'm going to play Corsa here. And do I want to put a counter and kill these two? I'm gonna do is put a counter on this and then fight this with this. Like I think having his Ojitai on the board, like it's probably the worst thing for us. And if we get it off the board and then um play our den protector, we'll be in a good spot. Let's see what he does with this. If we didn't put it on top. Bound the bomb, sweet. Um, I should probably play the Winston Plate there, but we're just not playing lands this game, so. If he plays another Ojitai here, that's like probably really bad for us. Yep. Luckily, we do have the Stem Protector that we can play. I think we're gonna play the man confluence. So we can flip up Den Protector. So let's just pass here. Yeah. 
I think we just let him hit us with this. I don't think um, anything you can get. I think the worst thing we do is react and then we die. But I think it's better if he hits us here with it and then um, when we react. Because if we react and then we use Valor Sense to kill it, then he can just Crux of Fate from his hand or have like two removal spells. But um, if he goes Crux of Fate here, because he has to act now, he has to do something. Yeah, he was going to dig through time looking for answers. But um, I think he's just dead actually. He needs like, um. I even know what he needs. Because we cruxes, then we go Dem Protector Valorous Stance on our Dem Protector or a um, Death Raptor, and he's dead. Um, so I think, like, that's why I like not reacting, because I don't know what card he could draw from his deck. Like, he would need some way to kill, like, two guys in one turn, and I don't think he can do that. Here, I'm just going to flip up the Den Protector and get back um, Valor Stance. And I don't think the Light, light Total matters that much, so we're just going to get these guys back. Get back Valor Stance. I guess maybe if he kills... No, if he kills... Put face up. And let's move to attacks. I guess you have if he has foul tongue invocation, I think I just kill his Ojitai. Oh we revealed Ojitai. Interesting. So maybe I should go back to Jamoka's command. Yeah, I should have played the Fleece Main Lion first, that way I play around um Foul Tongue Implication. So let's play the Fleece Main Lion and the land and pass. So he's in the same situation where I'm not sure how he could. He needs like, a, um, not sure how he can win. Maybe he had Silumgar scored into big Silum, like a three-five Silumgar, the um, one steals. Again, I'm not gonna Valor stance here. Uh, I mean, there's a chance that he has languish. Be pretty bad. All right, I'm just gonna play like he did. Think he won't have it. Maybe I should have Valor stance the other time. Tell he didn't have language. Like the trying to make sure he didn't get language, because like that way, if he just plays another Ojitai, like I'm fine with that. And like language is or like language is the only way he wins here. I mean, you can play Crux of Fate. That'd be pretty bad, but like you can't. I can't play around both Crux of Fate and Language, and I think this plays around. Like this doesn't play around Language, but it plays around everything else. But I definitely should have um, on that last turn. Should have played the Fleece Main Lion. Attacked with everything, and then I can attack the Fleece Main Lion and then kill them. I was thinking that I could like Valor stance the Ojitai in response, and that they like it didn't play with Ojitai, play around an Ojitai in his hand. So um, that was a mistake. Let's see what he does here. So if we Valor stance. And he has a Sun Guard Scorn. I think it's better to just crack this and try to monstrous this. He has to have Bioblight. And I think he would have played that already if he did. Yeah. 
and um, Dallas Saints can't. We can't even play around Bio Blight. But we can play around Salimgar scoring. Yeah. Nice. All right, cool. I think we want to bring in the Hangerback Walkers. Um, leaps, definitely. And you might have Peril's Fall, but I'm not sure how good again good against us that is. Maybe we want another Valor Stance. I don't think we want Glare Heresy. I don't think on the draw we want Valor Stance because we don't have enough mana. But we definitely want these cards. I think we want to take out Hidden Dragon's Lair. And I think we want to take out Elvish Mystic. Throw these cards. And then if we see Parallel Swell, we can bring it in next game. We have the luxury of being able to bring it in next game. I don't know if we want an Arrival either. I just don't want this card to be dead. Like, um, pa uh, Parallel Swell is the only card. Like, and Dramogus Command is not even that good. So maybe we take out Dramogus Command for Vara Stance. And yeah, I think we want actually more Morphs than Dramogus Commands. Yeah, let's try this. Um, I because the hidden drag slayers they flip up the de Deathless Raptors and they kill Ojitai. Where Dromus commands don't really do that much. We're gonna take damage off this um mana complex a lot, but I think this is a keeper. I'd rather outpace his removal spells. Like, um, I mean, hopefully draw more lands, but if we just keep on playing threats, then it forces him to react. So here I'm just gonna attack. And I think maybe we just wanna pump it. I want to play this leap, but this looks like a Slumgar score opening, so I think I'm just going to punish him and just um, make this a 3 3. Hopefully, we draw an land next turn. That'd be really nice. Perfectly a green source. And you missed the land drop, nice. We're gonna, start, we're gonna miss our lineup too, but and then here, I think I just want to put as much pressure on them as possible. Play a den protector. And I'm okay with this game counter rather than the leap game countered. And I want him to crack his fetch so he has less chances of hitting a land next turn. Here's the scoring. I would like to draw green stars next turn, please. Nope, oh, you got it. Let's see what we did with that. Put it on the bottom. Okay, so he's looking for more lands, of course. Okay, so I'm gonna attack first. And I'm gonna play uh, Nissa here. Because um, I want a forest, so if he goes does go languish next turn, I can go um, den protector into evolutionary leap or evolutionary leap, and, um, like evolutionary leap and den protector is like pretty good. Right, so I think we're gonna want to play our forest here. We're gonna attack him for five. We still want to play around Languish. So, but I think we want to make him use the Languish, actually. Yeah, I think he has his off, so I think he's gonna, like, he has to. He has to have Languish next turn, or he's dead. So, how can we leverage that?
I think we just play a Death Miss Raptor. I just want him to go dissolve into Languish. And if you had a removal spell, I think you would use it already. So. Like, I don't think I want the other guys, so I don't think I need to do anything here. Maybe I just pass. Because I really want to resolve this, resolve this evolutionary leap. I feel like if I resolve this evolutionary leap, I'm really far ahead. Nice, and we got there. Alright, so we'll see you for the next round. Thanks for watching.